User was moved to your channel. Hi there, Coyote. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we're so uh -huh. happy you could be here. Hey, thanks for joining us. Perfect timing. Just uh, huh? So? He wasn't ready. Faded, oh. you ruined it. Oh no. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Uh, I started hearing double voices, and I was like, hang on. Uh, then I realized I still had the stream on. Hello. Hey. Hi there. Uh, there hi. We go. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I was just saying it was perfect timing because uh, I I got out of the shower just like a minute ago, and I just. You're put not on the naked, are you? No, no, no. Whoa. Shiro. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're uh, sorry. We are. Uh, it's okay. It's totally fine. Uh. uh Four thousand five hundred dollars, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty really nice. awesome. Amazing. Uh, so, we're going to start right with the questions because we don't want to take up too much mm -hmm. of your time. That was fine. Uh, <laughs> first up, how is it like working for Overkill? And then, do you enjoy what you do? And what do you do would be a very important thing, which maybe you could tell us. Well, um, the, 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 the quick answer is if I didn't enjoy what I was doing, I wouldn't be working there. <laughs> um, no, but uh, what I do is I'm a cinematic animator, uh, but I'm a bit of a generalist. I touch on a lot of uh, areas of um, the cinematic making, which includes uh, cinematography, script writing, uh, pre-visuals, visual effects, rendering, uh, pretty much every part of the cinematic process I have some hand in, as long as it's with the animated trailers. Um, and um, I mean, I really love what I do there because it's a lot of creative freedom, uh, and I think in part it's because of my generalist approach. Uh, it means I can, you know, take more part in in every part of the creative process. Uh, yeah. Oh, awesome! So we've you've been on YouTube. We've we've seen you yes. around. We're, we all we stalk you, all of us. <laughs> so the question is, when did you start uh, getting into animating and cinematic? Uh, and trailers and okay, so I'm I'm pretty much the the prime example of how how um, education, at least in my country, has has failed entirely to become of any sort of importance. Because what happened was uh, when I was in uh, what, what I I don't know what the equivalent is in in the U.S. or U.K. or otherwise in the world, but. When you're in school at the age of 16 to 18, there's a specific division of school that you're in. And what happened was after a while I just realized this is not going to work for me. This is not teaching me anything. So I just kind of stopped and uh, started teaching myself everything that I wanted or needed to know in my spare time. Uh, which included, uh, you know, animation and uh, stuff like that. So I'm entirely self-tutored in that way. Uh, and that's like... Uh, I already had the root of, of animation interest from when I was little because I've been obsessed with Pixar movies. But um, since I found that I have so much time for all this creative stuff, I just figured uh, let's 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 teach myself all the things that I enjoy watching, and then that seeded about two years of YouTube, which became just a giant portfolio that I could then funnel into uh, a bunch of employers. And as it turns out, Overkill was one. Actually, uh, actually, the second employer who was the most interested. Well, they showed the most interest, but they are my second employer. So they're my second job ever. Awesome. Uh, Tom? What's up? Am I asking question. a question yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> the orange one is for you. All right. Well, you said uh, you were obsessed with Pixar films. Uh, so is there anything beyond that that got you into animating and, and all that that inspired you in any way? Um... No, really. It's generally just uh, uh, see, seeing all that and thinking the, the the mindset that I wish I could do that and I wish I was that level of creative, and it's just inspiring work. Um, at least specifically Pixar. Uh, but that the um, I mean, uh, or rather not specifically Pixar. It's pretty much every every piece of animated media that I've seen through the years. Uh, back when uh, Team Fortress Two had their um, what's it called? The Meet the Team videos, those were really inspiring as well. 
uh, to get into it, and the, especially with the release of Source Filmmaker. That really uh, kicked the whole animation thing on for me. Okay, so uh, Source Filmmaker. Beyond that, uh, what are the tools that, or, or I'm not sure if you're allowed to discuss this, but what are the tools <laughs> that you would uh, use for your animation? Or maybe making uh, a trailer? It's it's a little bit of everything. the The most common tool is, um, or the most common tools, because they kind of work in tandem, is uh, Autodesk Maya and uh, Autodesk Motion Builder, which are pretty much industry standard to work with. Uh, and then, I mean, that's just for the animation part and the rendering part. Uh, within Maya, we use a plugin called Octane, which uh, is is an absolutely brilliant uh, and fast uh, what's it called a uh, GPU renderer. Um, and that's just for, like I said, the animation and rendering part, and then there's composition and editing and pretty much every other step, uh, visual effects and so forth, is uh, Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere. So, those are the ones to learn. I hope uh, everybody's written this down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're, we're going to get... <laughs> no, we're not. I started uh, out so, with, with... I just wanted to say, I did start out uh, with uh, another thing which is a little more, bit more user-friendly. So for anyone who wants to get into uh, video making like that, um, Sony Vegas is a good start uh, because it's, it, it's got, every, it's got uh, about a, a slice of what Premiere has, but uh, in a more user-friendly environment. Awesome. So when you sit down to make a Payday 2 trailer, what is the first thing that you do? How, how does it start? Talk us through the process of start to finish of a Payday trailer that you've made. Um, well, it's a, it's a bit random. It, um, let's say, like for the animated trailers, usually we sit down and we have a discussion about what the topic is. And we figure out a, a fun or interesting way to present that. Um, so, for, inter uh, for, for example... The, uh, what's, what's a good example? I say the, um, uh, the Western Pack trailer from last year is a pretty good example because what we did was we sat down, we, we fumbled around some ideas, and we had a basic outline of what we wanted to happen. Then I took the uh, resources that we had, the models uh, of um, Dallas and the Cloaker, and I put them up in a very basic scenery. And uh, took pic uh, like took screen caps of that and sent them to our uh, cinematic director at the time, uh, Tour. And he gave me some input on what he wanted to see fixed, and I fixed up that, like camera angles and stuff. And basically, from then on, it's a collaboration between all like the animators uh, and anyone else involved in cinematography to get the best camera angles and figure out what needs to be animated, what scenes, uh, kind of uh, what, what emotion to get in there. Um, and then it's just kind of chugging along, making sure everything looks better in various passes and uh, editing versions, so to speak. And then you have a final product. It's, it's a very jumbled process, uh, and it's very hard to summarize in a short answer, but that's the gist of it. I suppose. <laughs> awesome. Uh, over to you, Shiro. Alright, so uh, do you work on the trailers alone, or is there like collaborations? Because you said, you know, you do something and then you throw it to Overkill, and then it's kind of just, it goes back and forth, and you just discuss. So is um, it more of a collaborative effort, or, or would you say you do most of the work? It's definitely a collaborative effort. Um, there's only been, like, two trailers that I had uh, that I had like uh, like ninety percent of the effort put into, and that was uh, uh, the Clover teaser from two thousand fourteen and the jacket trailer. Uh, those were the ones that I had like the most uh, say in. Everything else is a lot of collaboration, a lot of idea tossing back and forth, and you know just brainstorming and figuring things out together because it is a teamwork uh, teamwork effort in the end, and. We have uh, like a very skilled editor uh, and a lead cinematic, um, who I think you was it you or someone else who had a little no that was on our stream, <laughs> the cinematic team thing. 
from a few, was it a week or two, or before the vacation? Time, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, ha we have like a team of cinematic people who I collaborate with, and then I also collaborate with people in the actual game development in order to get assets transferred over and stuff like that. So. Awesome. So, um, next question is, what what's your favorite trailer that you've animated and, like, okay, to break this down even further, just which one do you think was the most fun to work on and which one did you enjoy, like, the end result of the most? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I have I have a list of all the ones that I have worked on properly. I've, worked, I've done, actually, I've realized with, with time that I've worked on so many trailers that it's, like, after a while, it's, like, which ones did I make? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think um, actually the, the my favorite one that I worked on is probably actually going to be the jacket pack one, because uh, when me and Simon worked on the music, or rather, well, he did, he did all the music, but um, we transferred over like the feeling that we wanted to him. And once the music was in, it was like the whole emotion was sold completely. The feeling that I was going for, and it's it is pretty much the trailer that has been frame by frame the exact thing that I had in my head. Uh, usually with, I think most artists can can agree on the fact that uh, when you make something, it usually doesn't always turn out the way that you want, but you'll be happy with it anyway, but that's literally the trailer where everything's looked exactly the way I wanted it to. And uh, what was the second question? Which one were you like just most proud of the end result with, but I think you kind of answered that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, um, awesome. So, uh, we've again, we've seen your YouTube, we'd like to bring this up again. What mm -hmm. what do you do with your spare time? Well, if you have any, <laughs> uh, well, uh, generally, it's um, I, I work a lot with, um, or not, not right now, but I used to work a lot with other YouTubers, um, usually Let's Players, and collaborate with them on having moments from their videos animated uh, or put into anima animated form. Um, that's taken a bit of a break recently, but I kind of want to go back into that. And other than that, it's, you know, spare time, 3D modeling, um, artistry in general. I did take up painting for a while, but that's also on the back burner. Um, and just teaching myself more and more that I can apply in my work environment. Awesome. And you know, the, the, obviously the, the whole you know, hanging out with friends, stuff, and colleagues, and after work stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so you're not into video games after work, oh. or do you? <laughs> oh, of course. No, no, of course I'm into video games. Uh, I, I read too much into the question as hobby stuff. <laughs> no, oh, but um, well. as for as for video games, um, yeah, of course. Uh, if if I have the time to sit to sit down and actually play for longer periods of time, then of course I'll play. Uh, like, for instance, No Man's Sky came out, what, yesterday? No, Friday. And I spent, like, eight hours just blasting through the whole thing. Uh, and there's more to come, actually, after this, so. Awesome. Uh, so, if you had to choose uh, what your favorite video game was, what would you say? It doesn't have to be Payday. <laughs> no, um... Actually, a bit of a difficult choice. Uh, right, n like it's all very influenced on what's what the the most recent game I played is. And right now, I say my favorite game is No Man's Sky. When like a week or two from now, it probably isn't gonna be. But of all time, it's probably gonna be Portal Two. I uh, there's like the dark humor in Portal Two. I just love. Awesome. Ah. Uh over to you, Shiro. We should play co-op sometime, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so uh, do you have any inspirations in animating, whether it be like other Overkill employees or some YouTubers that animate that you've looked at? Anything? Yeah, like I said, it's generally um, the, the number one uh, inspiration would be Pixar and anything they do. I haven't seen Finding Door yet because it's not out in Sweden and it doesn't come out until another like 10 days, which I think sucks. Um, there is, in some instances, Blue Sky Studios who made Ice Age. Um, 
I've been interested in seeing the Angry Birds movie because I didn't know that Rovio had an animation studio department, but that looks really nice, even though it's a bit of a, you know, a weird movie to make. Um, the TF2 animation team, whenever they put out anything that's an animated trailer, because it's every, all, every time it's amazing what they can do with the limited software that Source Filmmaker is. Um, and... They... As for YouTuber animators, I don't think I really know any 3D ones. I have some that I'm I'm, I'm friends with, uh, sort of. Uh, there's uh, Hypo, uh, and oh, there was one more that I don't remember the name of right now. I'll try to remember it and put it in chat later. But there's another animator that I that I. No, Antoine Delac. That's what it's called. Um, a, f a French guy who does, or Canadian, <laughs> who makes really good uh, SFM animated videos. And he did really good stop motion back in the day when Garrus Mod was still popular. Alright, so does that sum that question up? Yeah, pretty much. All right. <laughs> Lengthy answer, but... Alright, so uh, if you could go back and change anything about any Payday 2 trailers, what would it be? Um... Well, right at the top of my head, the Sydney character pack teaser, we realized uh, afterwards that it was a bit janky in the frame rate, and that's because I messed up with the uh, with the uh, sequence settings. Uh, it was 25, the sequence was 25 frames per second instead of the 24, which meant that uh, Premiere has this thing where if there's one frame too much in the sequence, it will actually render that frame even though it's not supposed to and that means that you get double frames in a se if you have a sequence with 24 frames per second or uh, an image sequence in a video sequence of 25 frames per second uh, or 24 versus 25 bleh, <laughs> then it fills in the gap with an extra frame after the 24 which means it looks janky and weird so that's the number one thing like at the top of my head everything else uh, it's I mean everything is a learning experience so it's a matter of learning from mistakes so in that sense not really anything that I'd want to change but that's one of those things that the Sydney, pack, Sydney character pack teaser thing was one of those things that I knew and could have avoided but forgot to so, oops. yeah I couldn't tell that there was anything wrong with it <laughs> no it's one of those things that that you only notice when you like watched it a thousand times in order to learn from what you did and then be like oh shit what did I do wrong also, I just realized, is there a language filter thing here, or should I? Nope. You can okay, good. I swear as you much as you want. We play games with cursing in it, so. Yeah, I know. You just yeah, you, no, you're uh, clear. I, I, I was watching before, and and uh, there was the whole watch la watch your language thing. I was like, huh? <laughs> can I swear? Oh no, that's. Uh, it's more a joke really right now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um. Okay, so you probably can't answer this, but we're going to ask it anyway. Uh. Is there any big trailer animations, something that you're doing coming up soon? That, that is not something I can answer, sadly. There we go. Mm -hmm. You'll All have right. to see whenever, whenever something shows up, you'll know. And uh, what about a typical day in your office? Just, do, you, do you research animation? Do you, like, what's an average day in the life of Coyote? <laughs> uh, basically, it's... Um... I I get up, I go to work around 9 a.m., uh, sometimes 9, 9, 9.15 and onwards, and uh, between that to 1 p.m., no, yeah, um, no, 12 p.m., I'm stupid. Um, there's mostly preparation for the whole day by getting everything started, getting everything sorted, having a look at everything that's supposed to be going on. Uh, if I'm working on a hand keyed animation trailer, then I'll generally start outlining uh, the like if I'm starting on a new scene, then I'll put up the base animation really quickly. And if it's a scene that I've, I'm already working on, then I'll just keep touching on that forever uh, until lunch at like at about twelve. Then that's an hour of lunch, and then back to doing the same thing. It's um. It's all the, the 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 day looks a bit different depending on what uh, what stage of a trailer or uh, marketing material I'm working on. If it's just like a picture, like a pose of the heisters doing things, then it's mostly setting that up and rendering that and putting up in Photoshop. If it's a trailer, then it can be anything from editing the 
in Premiere or doing visual effects in After Effects to just regular animation or rendering. It's it's all very dependent on what's going on at the time. Awesome. So, um, unfortunately, we're we're done with our questions, including our viewer ones. So, huh. we will move over to the chat for a few minutes and. Uh, all right. Anybody with questions? And no Zaltog, he's not going to say that. Stop. <laughs> Basis. So, um, I guess I have a tiny question. So, um, how was it? Uh, did you apply for Overkill? When, or did they reach you? A um, bit of a mix. Um, what happened was... Um, oh, my microphone is drifting away. It wants to leave me. There we go. Uh, no, what happened was... Uh, like a month before I was supposed to graduate from school, I figured I have enough stuff now to actually send as a portfolio. So there's this website called Game Dev Map, uh, which was really helpful. Um, if you Google it, you'll find it that has a list of every game developer in every country uh, all over the world. I don't know how updated it is, but uh, it was updated enough when I found it. So what I did was I basically mass sent my, my resume and portfolio to a lot of developers, and only two of them actually got back to me. Uh, one being a small indie developer called Might and Delight, who I worked for before Overkill, and then Overkill. Uh, and what happened was I'd worked about two days with Might and Delight before Almir called me up personally and was like, hey, let's come for an interview. And then that was, the rest is history, as they say. All right, and uh, how about when you started doing animations? Because Apocalypse here wanted to know if it was after Big Bang, because that's what he thinks. Uh, when I started doing animated trailers for Overkill? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I started working in September 2014, so... Pretty much immediately after uh, the Big Bang trailer, yeah. So the first trailer you worked on was the Sydney one, uh, not the Sydney one, the Clover one, right? Yes, the female heister teaser. What happened was Almir uh, said that uh, because he was still producer at the time, kind of, he like had a bigger yeah. producer role. So uh, he f he figured that, and I thank him like all the time for this, but it's like. Uh, he he knew that I had more of a cinematic, like, spirit, sort of. So what he did was he figured that since I, I, I do trailers so much, I could be put on that full-time uh, instead of doing in-game, which I did up until the female Heister teaser. Uh, so he basically asked me to do that uh, personally, which uh, I thank him all the time for. Also, about something in about that trailer, uh, did... The voice of uh, Clover change at any point because it sounds different. Yes, uh, I believe I believe that's been official, but it's uh, we switched the voice actresses around for Bonnie and uh, Clover. I don't remember the reasoning because that was almost two years ago, but uh, I think it was generally just fitting the voices better. Well, that and they were entirely different accents, exactly. Scottish and Irish. I, I I can understand why 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 um why that was. Well, that might seem like an odd decision. Like, I don't remember because I wasn't part of that decision planning, but... I mean, in the end, I think it's for the better, because I think the voices fit right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. Oh, no. Was that... Okay. <laughs> so, I actually saw... Um, I, some Overkill devs uh, working on some animation test, uh, tests for Locke. Oh, was uh, was Locke oh, planned? About, um... What's his face? Uh, yeah, Joachim's. Uh, yeah, Yukum. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was it planned for a trailer? Because uh, all we got was uh, pretty much just the introduction video to it. But yeah, there was uh, f like even motion capture and face capture. Well, um, usually when there's a bit of downtime at work, um, you know, we just like I said, it's a learning experience all the time, so we try to figure out new and cool things that we can do. So generally, if you see something on my channel or anyone else, any other animator's channel or any other artist's channel, uh, be it Twitter or YouTube or anything, it can generally usually, if it's not something that's been released, 
I'd say it's usually just experimentation and figuring cool things out uh, with the assets that we have. Uh, so I believe most of the things, if not all of it, that uh, you see on both Niffen and uh, and Yukum's uh, channels is pretty much experimentation and figuring new things out that can be applied to trailers or in-game later on. That's really cool. Kind of behind the scenesy stuff, which is really nice. I do actually enjoy watching them, so uh, I pretty much follow uh, most of the uh, Overkill uh, animation team. I follow Yoka, uh, Yokum, uh, you, and uh, Copter. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I. I love his weapon animations. Uh, yeah, he's yeah really good. those are awesome. Uh, was that the, uh, speaking on the weapon animations? I think the uh, uh, point break uh, heist was a, a half-half thing, where the first part, where its uh, first person was made by um, Copter, and the the other part was made by. You guys, or mm -hmm. how was it? No, uh, the, the, the third person animations for that trailer were made by um, Yuke and, uh, and uh, Nifan, aka uh, Jonas. Um, and the first person was done by Copter. Uh, I had very little to do with that trailer, actually. The most I did was I set up a render farm and did technical management for that. Otherwise, it was the creative part was actually them that time. Oh, cool. So, that's uh, pretty much all the questions I can think of right now. Uh, I'm gonna let you uh, take a look into the chat if there's uh, any questions going on there. Um, mm -hmm. Sure, and uh, thanks so much for doing this. Is no problem, it's been fun. Something we can't say enough. Uh, it's, um, it's actually, I've, I've been, I've been. Even though I've been lurking, I've been pretty much looking at the stream since, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Uh, since I woke up and for a few hours yesterday. That's, yeah, that's an important question. Why is your hair so good? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It's been like this forever. Help me. <laughs> and, uh, uh, can they worship you in creepy ways? <laughs> sure. Go nuts. I, I, I saw someone made a Twitter account specifically just to post close-ups of Amir's face, so... <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? You're giving Twitter ideas. Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, I saw someone say, where did he study? Um, uh, my, my number one tip is don't study in private high schools. It's the worst thing you can do. But that only really applies to Sweden. I don't know about the U.S. What is your uh, favorite animated film? Is ooh, this is uh, it's controversial, but Brave, because uh, it's controversial because generally people don't like Brave or they don't really appreciate it as much as I do. But I think it's one of the best animated movies of all time. Did you enjoy the Chicken Dance remix of the Jack trailer? Yeah, I think I, if if I if it's the one I uh, if it's, if it's the one I think it is, then yes, I had a good laugh about that. I think I was at the office when I saw it, also, so I had to hold in laughter. <laughs> so I think that's it. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh no problem. Thank you. Uh, it's really thank fun. you for being here. And uh, well, hopefully we'll see you again. Yeah, that, that'll be fun. Uh, invite me whenever. <laughs> sure. Um, you have me on Steam. Absolutely. Okay. And we'll do. everywhere else. And thank yeah. you again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to let you guys get back to it. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you for dropping by. Good luck with the future. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See ya.